So my question to you today is, did you spot what was missing in the opening scene? I'll just give you a second to think about it. Well, did you see it? No tripod. Yeah, so as I said, the R5. The R5 has got image stabilization built into the body of the camera. Now, from what I can see, that image stabilization works in conjunction with the lens. So if you've got an image stabilized lens, it's additional image stabilization to go with that lens. What I can also see is that it doesn't work in still mode, I don't think, unless somebody tells me different. It only works in video mode. And in video mode, we can either have the image stabilization off, image stabilization on, or on a further enhanced mode we can have it. So my challenge today is, can you film a photography vlog for YouTube without a tripod. Now don't get me wrong, a tripod is going to improve it no end, you know, because the steadier your camera is, the better you're going to be. The problem with the tripod is when you're going around looking for wildlife, it's okay if you're just sitting somewhere and you're just pegged down, hidden away, and it's no problem. But if you just want to go for a walk around like I'm doing today, the problem with having the tripod is, as soon as you see an animal, You've got to put the tripod down, get the camera ready. It's a faff and it's a noise. By the time you've done all that, the animal's long gone. So I'm thinking that on those days when I just want to go and have a walk, do I just rely on the image stabilization in the R5 and is it good enough? So what we're going to do, I mean, we, we know what stills are like, but we're going to take some video, um, handheld video, as we walk around. And don't forget, a lot of my video is slow motion. So that also has an effect on stabilizing the footage, if you like, because you're not, you're not recording real time and it's not shaking around like this. It's shaking around in slow motion. So, you know, you're actually dampening the effect anyway. So I think, you know, with most of my footage in slow motion, and I'm going to try a little bit in just, you know, normal speed as well today. Um, I think that the image stabilization on the R5 will be good enough for handheld. So let's see how that goes.
So it's quite interesting so far. Sorry about the noisy crows in the background. They always seem to be around this area, so I guess they're nested around here. Um, but yeah, I say it's quite interesting so far because you sort of adapt your photography to what you've got. Um, now, you know, you know me, I'm 99% of the time I'm walking around with a tripod because I want to do the vlogs, I want to get the video still, I want to get the best images I can, and that is the way to go. But when you're having a walk around like we are today, that's lugging a lot of equipment, and as I say, it can scare the wildlife as much as you can, you know, you might not get the sharpest, tack sharp image handheld, but you won't be far off and you won't scare the wildlife off. So what I've found as I'm walking around is, as I'm seeing the wildlife, my instant reaction is to kneel down. As I kneel down, I'm sort of kneeling on one knee, my leg out straight, and that's sort of giving me a bit of an artificial tripod. Um, and that's steadying me straight away, and that's just my instinctive reaction. And to be honest, that's quite good because it gets me low straight away. If I'm carrying a tripod around, I can't get low straight away unless I've got the legs folded in. So that can cause some problems sometimes. But yeah, I think it's working quite well for a walk around. Um, I think where we're going to see the difference in the images is probably on the B-roll. Because when we're filming wildlife, wildlife's moving around and noisy, but like. Um, so yeah, when we're filming the wildlife, it's normally moving around, so your camera's not still and steady anyway. But when you're doing B-roll, that's a different thing. Quite often, you're just trying to get the sounds, like the crows on the B-roll, um, and just get the atmosphere. And by doing that, you're probably just focusing maybe on a branch or something, or some sort of still life object while you're doing that B-roll. And that's probably where it's gonna show up, if anywhere, in the quality of the video. You know, there's definitely gonna be a downside um, to not using the tripod, and the quality of the video is not gonna be as as good, you know, as, as tack sharp. Um, but I think it might be worth it when you're having a walk around because it's so easy just to bring the camera up, the camera straight into action. You've not got to set the tripod and everything. Um, and I, I know I do miss images because I'm walking around with a tripod. So we'll carry on a bit more, see what else we can find. Um, and what I'm trying to do in this video, I'm not trying to film any B-roll on, um, on the iPhone, um, apart from you know, obviously when I'm doing the pieces to camera. but. Other than that, I'm trying to do all the B-roll off the main R5 camera so that you can see what happens um, and you can see the effect of not using the tripod. And I'm really keen for you guys to let me know in the comments, you know, what you think um, and what, what you're, you know, whether you do the same thing, whether you've got any better ideas. Um, but yeah, we'll carry on, see what else we can find and hopefully we can bring you a few things. Oh, and did you see the hair? So the hair, well, you know, I spent three days looking for hairs. I walked down this morning not looking for one just to do this without a tripod video. There's a hair in the field, right in the middle of the field. So, and again, you know, it was good because not having the tripod, I was able to creep up on the hair. I was able to get behind the bushes, get down low, come quite close to it without disturbing it and get a few images and a bit of video. So yeah, really good.
well that's it for um, filming without a tripod not that we're not going to do it again because to be honest on a walk around I think this has been pretty successful I won't be able to tell till I put the video together and just see what the footage is like um, you know it's not going to be as slow as on a tripod as I said earlier but I think for a walk around you've probably got more chance of finding wildlife and not spooking it if you're around with a tripod um, so yeah let me know what you think um, certainly we've been able to approach the wildlife easier uh, you know, the hair at the beginning I probably wouldn't have got that hair uh, unless you know we were walking around without the tripod with a tripod I'd have probably spooked it I mean there's not been a massive amount of wildlife but as I say the b-roll would be one of the key things to see um, and let me know what you think of that because you know, to me the b-roll is what makes the video look professional it's going to be a little bit more shaky but is it acceptable so let me know what you think um, it's been a good little good little morning out and, and this is a beautiful spot we're in around here um, lovely and peaceful so whatever you're doing have a great day um, hope you like the video if you do you know please thumbs up for me below that'd be great really appreciate that and if you're new around here don't forget to subscribe um, it'd be great to have you on board with us and I'll catch up with you again soon bye for now